listen, um, thank you for coming on. I, I know it's all short and brief and everything, but you must come in to see us next time. I'd like to, yeah. I think we could have, we'd, we'd have a lot of fun with you. Yeah, I'd like to, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think that's the best thing to do, yeah. Anyway, and listen, um, good luck. Uh, I hope the show goes well and continue to keep us entertained. And, of well, course, we love your hard life, mate. Oh, mate. I don't yeah, just give it a play. I'm doing a thing tonight at the Eknam for a forum. With Paul Merton doing an improvising thing. Oh, really? Yeah, the Acme Empire tonight, yeah. So what time's that? Uh, 8 o'clock, I think it starts. 8 o'clock? Yeah, it's the Bart's Hospital. So okay. This should, be quite, this should be quite interesting. Very that good. That was confusing, wasn't it? So, are you doing improv as well? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but that's what I'm doing. I'll tell you what, John, you can have my Arnold, 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 if you want. I don't know how you'll work it in. All right, John. So is that the Hackney Empire tonight, 8 o'clock? Yeah, yeah, 8 o'clock, yeah. Okay, right. yeah. John, thank you very yeah, much. Sure. Have a great day. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. What a legend, John Barton. Hard off, eh? Do you know what? He was blown away by your He really was. He really was. He was rendered speechless. He, <laughs> he, was, he was so excited, I thought he was going to slam the phone down immediately. Uh, EastEnders then back on tonight. It's Thursday tonight, isn't it? Yeah. 7.30 BBC One. 8.53. Cold, and when you think of the words cold and funky, or if you prefer funky and cold, in the context of 
some people are saying that Hans Christian Andersen didn't write fables, and that was Aesop, right? Hans Christian Andersen didn't write fables. He wrote fairy tales, but fairy tales and fables in my book are the same thing. No, 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 no. The only similarity is the letter F. No, they're, they're both stories for children. Uh, Essentially. It's kind of, you're, you're wrong. Anyway, uh, that aside, um, oh yes, and also Narnia was in the wardrobe, not behind the wardrobe. Another technicality. Right. And that was about it. Oh yeah, apparently Pamela Anderson might have had her uh, her norks uh, taken out, uh, her implants. Who says that? People. Really? Mm. Go back down. It was not, reduced. Not, not, not they went to a normal size. Well, though. this is the thing, you see, because if she had them blown up and then she had them reduced, they're still false boobs, aren't they? They're yeah, not as nature still intended. False, yeah. Dave wins. What does she do with the with, with the discarded bits of boob? I don't know. Did they actually take we, them? We could get them. We could give them to Josh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, not taking part in that conversation. No, 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 no. No, eBay no only, only because... I can't and, and, say that. No, I can, because in fairness, this is all the women who work on the show have got huge cans. So if Joss is, is left out, mm. so give uh, Pamela Anderson's leftovers, and then, you know, there you are, three lovely dollies. That's very kind of you. Oh, I thought so. You, know, you look at me like I'm an idiot, but I thought I'd be very generous. Yeah, I think we've got three lovely dollies anyway. <laughs> you know? Name them. Rachel. Juliet and Josh. Oh, yeah. That's right. <laughs> Anyway, good record. Sound like Funky Cold Medina. Oh, for Nick, by the way, he texted in. He goes, you, you idiot. It's not Cold Medina. It's Cold Medina. Funky Cold Medina. It's not. So shut up, Nick. Dave wins. Yeah, fact. Uh, it's our time on the show. It's a bit where Dave says, Let's get ready to
three miles towards my local. I went down this thing four times before. Mm. I told you you should have put for fags as well. You would have had us tomorrow. Look at how sad I am. It's 900 steps from my front door to the off license and back. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say you should get out more. But you are out. I am out, I'm telling you. I'm walking up, people must think I'm mad. And I must say, to anybody who saw me last night, a few people recognise me. I'm walking, I'm walking literally down the road on my own, going... 20. Counting my steps. You don't need to count. No, I know, but it's really hard not to count. Didn't we clear up the sort of even steps thing? Oh, oh no, I don't. No. I don't think that confuses me. Well, it shouldn't confuse you. Well, it does. Okay, because... Right, Dave, Allard said... It is fi it's about 50 steps to the coffee machine and back. Yeah. I said no, it's not. Alan then goes off to does it and comes back with the answer. 45. Is that what it was? Yeah. So we've got a few more texts that have said, how can it be 45 down? <laughs>
September 13th is obviously the release date. Yeah, that's right. It's, it's not called no, uh, September 13th. I was reading the wrong line. Yeah, that would be ridiculous, mm. wouldn't it? I cracked it, by the way. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, during that record, I cracked the whole pedometer thing and the odds and evens. Right. Because it is very unlikely that if you're measuring from here to the coffee machine or from here to Trafalgar Square, that actually it would be a whole number of um, of paces to, you know, whatever your, your stride size. Therefore, it'd probably be a half number. And if you got there and it was, say, 13 and a half each way, then you could have an, an odd number. It's never going to be a half. It could be. No, it's not. It could. And it's not. Well, of course it could, because if you, uh, well, if, allow me to, to if, you, if you pick one foot up and move it forward, that's a step. If you move it another foot, step forward, that's another step. Okay, but let's say... Half, half a step, you'd be one foot in the air. Yeah, but something could be located half a step away. Okay, let, allow me to explain, right? If I was walking to Rachel, right? I wish you keep walking. She might be five steps. However, you're slightly in front. If I was walking here, you'd be like four and a half. Okay, prove that theory. Okay. One, two, three, four. Exactly right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. Now you, slightly, you're slightly in front. Yes. So you're about four and a half. Okay. Now, but show me four and a half steps. Okay. One, One, two, three. Oh, I'm here already. That's three. You can take right. the smaller steps. One, two, three, four. Oh, I'm here already. Four and a half. You're saying what? Your foot is still in the air. Yeah. And you don't put your foot down. It's, I mean, do you not understand? I think I think what you're trying to say is that the stride will be slightly shorter, but it's, as far as pedometer stuff goes and steps go, that's still five steps. But it can't be. Chris wins. This is Secret Student. And it's the last week to register if you want to be our Secret Student. Uh, the number is the normal radio one phone number 08700 100 100. Go to option number three and leave us a message and we can play on the air and then after that message leave your name and your phone number and you can be the person we choose to be the official student of the Chris Moyle show I have some more idiot, more um, possible people would you like to hear them? I would yes boy or a girl? a girl please Please, please, 